So this is a new website in which I started recently after the Google Core update. And as you can see here, at the beginning of April, it was getting zero clicks and zero impressions. But now um, we are getting some clicks and we're getting over 9,000 impressions. And even we had a huge jump on one day. If you want to see exactly what I did to be able to uh, drive traffic to a new blog post on this website, then check out the video, which I will link in the description below today's uh, video. So that will show you exactly what I did to get that big jump. But as you can see, even if even though it's tapering off, we are still getting some clicks and we are still getting some impressions. So in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly what you need to do in order to actually grow a website after the Google Core update. And I'll show you what you can do on your existing sites to make sure that you're future proof and that um, your websites will not be hit by this update. As you can see, this website is less than a month old and I'm using AI to write all of the content exclusively on this website. So here is what I would do to rank AI content, especially after the Google Core update. Number one is I would diversify my content. Now, this doesn't just mean the type of content, but also how you write your content. So I would focus less on metrics or traditional metrics, such as keyword research metrics. Of course, you want to do your keyword research, but you need to differentiate yourself. Everyone is going to go on Ahrefs and do keyword research for whatever topic they're writing about. And they're going to do some competitive research to see what, you know, other websites that are low DR are ranking for. But I would recommend focusing less on metrics and actually focusing on what people would like to know when it comes up uh, to that niche. So for example, let's say I'm in the real estate niche, right? I can do keyword research, but I know that right now it's April or sorry, May, and there's been probably a lot of updates in the month of April. So I can do a blog post around the real estate updates of April, right? And I can find as much information as I can around that, um, the news that happened within April, and I can write an up-to-date article on this topic. And I know for a fact that this is trending. I know for a fact that I'll be able to get some clicks on this. And I know for a fact that there's going to be less competitors, right? You want to be able to go after keywords and things of that nature that are less competitive because that will increase the likeness of you ranking for that actual keyword. And we can still use AI to write this content, right? All we have to do is go ahead and copy over all this information that we got back. And this is all up-to-date information. So if you're in a niche where there's a lot of updates, you know, ChatGPT or even Claude is not going to be updated. So I can go ahead and copy over all of this information and then I can prompt this into um, the AI to write the content. So it's going to write more up to date information using the data in which I entered. All right. And when you do things like that, that is how you actually are able to get big jumps in traffic. And that's how you're actually able to build authority because Google will now see that you're not just writing on these you know, mundane or these evergreen topics, you're writing on new up to date content, and they will actually rank you higher for that. So you want to be able to find the balance between writing evergreen content and writing content that is more up to date as well. So I would focus on less metrics and focusing on writing on actual information that is important to that specific niche. Then I'll also use different writing methods. When I write my content, I use a variety of different methods. I use the playground mode, which is using OpenAI. I also use Claude, um, which is another tool in which I use, and I use WordRocket, which is my own unique tool. If you want to try WordRocket for yourselves, it will be in the description below today's video. It is very, very easy for you to write content. We have some pre-prompted templates. You can just choose from those templates, select whatever you would like to write about, click generate, and you'll be able to generate those articles pretty quickly. And you can add your own API key, so it's very, very cost effective. So I use a variety of different ways to, to write my content. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, just using one method. There's a lot of different ways in which you can write content. And I also wouldn't recommend using automated tools that will generate bulk articles and pop it out onto your website, because I've been testing that method out. And I find that actually taking the time to write articles allows me to be able to rank for those content a little bit better. So when I actually take my time to include more up to date information, write um, the content more thoughtfully, I'm actually able to get better results rather than automating or writing bulk content. So that's something for you to note. Next, I would write some local content. Again, let's say if you're in real estate or in a niche in which you can write some local content specific to where you live in, especially if you're in a big city, or you can write for bigger cities, if, even if you don't live in those cities, right? I would write content. So for example, I can write a real estate update for Toronto in April of 2024, or I can write you know, what's the future of the market for real estate in Toronto uh, for 2024. So these are things in which you can include um, writing local content. 
Um, you can even do reviews of local companies. That's an easy way for you to be able to then go, go ahead and get some backlinks. If you do a review of local companies, you can call them up and say, hey, I wrote this article. Would you guys link back to me? And that's another way in which you can build authority. Next, I would include videos in your content as much as you can. So I would try to use tools like in video to turn my blog post into a video. I pop that onto my website. If one of your blog posts is doing well and you have the resources, you can then go ahead and turn that um, blog post into a video. The second thing in which I would focus on to rank content after the Google core update is building authority. So you want to be able to build authority within your space. You want to be known as a big player within your space. And the way that you're able to do so is by you want to create charts, eBooks, and you want to do real reviews, comparisons, things that use real data within your niche, right? If you can create a chart that's not readily available in your niche, then that could attract a lot of traffic and again, help you build your authority. So whatever your niche is, you can use ChatGPT to get, to get ideas for um, graphs and things of that nature in which you can create. I would create authority on other websites. So not just only focusing on Google, I would also try to build up my social media following on Facebook, Pinterest, um, YouTube, Instagram, whatever works well for your niche. Try to see how you can build authority on other sites because that is good signals to Google as well and also allows you to diversify your traffic sources. And my last point is that content is not king. You know, people always said before when we were starting in blogging a couple years ago that content is king. And I don't believe this to be true right now. And that is because content has become so decentralized and it's become so cheap to create content that I believe that Google is moving and weighing content less compared to other metrics like authority, like your DR, like the amount of people that are searching up your content, um, like the amount of time people are spending on your website and things of that nature. So I believe that content is not king. It is still important, but you can't necessarily build a website by blasting content onto the website. As we see multiple examples, you may have a nice peak, but then you're going to have a valley at some point. So I recommend following a mixed use approach when it comes to creating content, create some AI content. Um, you also want to create some manual content as well, create images, create videos. You want to essentially make your website seem like a real business. You don't want Google to just think that you're creating this website with the intent of putting ads, making it passive and just getting money out of the site. Google doesn't want transactional websites. It wants websites that are actual value that people are actually searching up, that people actually um, find value from using. So think about that when you're trying to build your website. So I hope that these tips were helpful for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If you want to enter my exclusive community where we discuss these things where you can get access to my um, my AI writing course then you can join my school community it is only ten dollars per month and you will get full access to this community we are doing live trainings as well weekly and you can get full access to myself you can send me over a message I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have so again I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next video take care